Hey guys, Scott here. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to structure WordPress permalinks so that there's something more custom and also to help improve your search engine optimization. A permalink is basically a way of telling WordPress how you want your URLs for each page or post to be shown. If you scroll down on this tutorial page a bit, you'll see there's the permalink tags mentioned here. So you can configure your URLs for each page to be shown using all these different custom values. So you could show your posts by the year and day it was posted and month number, the hour it was posted, the author. What this means is you can have, say you've got a post on a video card, which is to do with computer hardware. You could have the URL, so the URL up here, display the year the post was made the day the post was made, the hour, anything you want, you can configure it to just showing the category the post was in. So like computer hardware and also the post name. If this is still a bit confusing, it will make more sense once we actually get into the WordPress side of it and show you what actually happens when you change the permalink settings. So what you're going to need to do now is go to your blog. And you'll need to log into the admin side. Add wp-login.php to the end. And just log in. Now before I actually show you any settings, I want to show you how the URLs for the a standard WordPress blog are actually shown. So I'm just going to log into or go to where my blog is. So this is the example blog. So if I click on this post here, so load the page for this post. You'll see that currently the way WordPress automatically displays your post URLs is just a question mark, P equals five. Now what this is showing is just it's the post and the post ID is five. So that's all that's showing. Now that's actually very bad for SEO and also bad for just the general visitors that can't really read that and they wouldn't know what that means. So what you want to do here is we want to change that to show something more relevant and more related to this post. So let's go back to the dashboard. So if you scroll down a bit and on the left here under settings, you can click this little drop down here arrow here to have the menu extend and you want to select permalinks. Okay. So now you can see we're in the permalink settings and you've got four predefined values you can choose the default, which is just showing the the post ID here, which is what I showed you before. So that's just the, that saying it's my fifth post or the ID five for the post, or you can actually change it with these preset ones. So you've got day and name. So this would show instead of just saying question mark P equals then the post number, it would say the date and then the name of the post. So that's day and name. You've got month and name to show you when the post, the month the post was made and the name. And then also the numeric, which is just blog archives and then the number of the post. Now you'll see with each different one on here I select of the presets, you can see this value here changing. This is what the custom structure would look to be able to set it to show that. So you can see month and name, you got year, month, post name, which is how it's shown here. Year, month, and post name. Okay, so let's say we want to do a custom structure. This is so you can set exactly how you want the URL to display for each post and page. So if you come back to this tutorial here, you'll see these are the different tags you can use. So let's say you wanted to do one by category and post name. So this would display, if I come back here, instead of just saying P equals five, it would display the post category. In this case, the post category, is CPU. So what you would want to see here is CPU slash the new post name. So, or whatever the post name was, so that's it there. So to set it to show URLs like this, we need to change the permalink settings of custom structure to our own custom one, which is going to be forward slash category forward slash post name. Now you need the percent sign before and after each tag. So it's percent category, percent, then percent, post name, percent. So let's save that and see what that does. 
Okay, so that's saved. Now let's see what happens if we click on this link again to reload the post. Now you'll see the post instead of saying p equals five now says hardware forward slash CPU forward slash enter new post title, which was the post title. Now you'll notice there's two here where category was written. There's hardware and CPU. Now if you come back to the, my site here and look at categories for posts, you'll notice that that was actually CPU is actually a subcategory to the hardware. So you see that the hardware is the main category and then it's a subcategory of CPU. And you can see this URL is much better than just p equals five. So you can customize the permalink here to whatever you want. And these are the different values you can use. You'll also notice there's an optional section here. You can just ignore this, don't worry about that. You're not gonna to need to know what that does. So you can ignore that and just click save changes whenever you change the custom structure to what you want. For an SEO value, you wanna show keywords that are related to the blog post. So in this case, having the category and post name is probably the best option as it shows the category the post is under and then also the name of the post in the URL. So that shows the most detailed URL name that will actually help the search engine optimization of your page. So that's pretty much permalinks. So that's all for this video. If you're watching this video on YouTube and it helped you, please thumbs up, subscribe, and comment. Thanks.